else here. Of course, and if you're heading out of town, you're planning to hit those outlet stores on the way, listen up. There are new concerns about those bargains you think you are getting, and NBC's Kristen Welker has that story. Kristen, good morning. Hey, Savannah, good morning to you. That's right. Those concerns are so great that several lawmakers are asking the Federal Trade Commission to take action against what they say are misleading practices at outlets. Everyone loves a good bargain, and outlet stores are often prime spots to find one. But retail experts are shining a light on a growing trend. Those experts say while outlets were once filled with overstock clothing at discounted prices, they are increasingly stocked with products made specifically for those outlets. Whereas people might think that they're buying a purse that's $100 off, that purse might have been made with lesser materials and it might be lower quality. So the discount in a sense is built into the item that you're buying. Unsuspecting shoppers were stunned. Oh my god, I didn't even know that. I, I probably feel really betrayed. The differences are subtle. Check out this J. Crew dress. The one on the left is made from linen and costs $148. The one on the right, found online at J. Crew Factory, only 104 bucks, but it is made out of cotton and has a mismatched seam. This dress on the Saks Off Fifth website is featured at more than half off, but on its website, Saks says the original price listed reflects the regular price at which we've normally sold that item, or if we have not previously sold an item, the price at which that item or a comparable item is normally sold in the market. Senator Richard Blumenthal joined three other lawmakers to write a letter to the FTC recently demanding that it investigate marketing practices. The FTC really ought to establish some rules here about clear, emphatic, and very obvious to consumers information. What do you say to critics who might argue if you're going to an outlet mall, you know that you're not getting the same quality as in a retail store? Consumers have a responsibility to know what they're getting, but they can't know and they can't exercise that responsibility if there is misleading or deceptive practice at the door. The FTC declined to comment but wrote to Senator Blumenthal, your letter highlights the opportunity for the commission to inform consumers of the benefits and potential pitfalls of outlet shopping. Sachs and J. Crew also declined to comment, but J. Crew's website says you should know we have a team dedicated to creating fun, easy to wear pieces exclusively for factory. It's unlikely outlets will ever go out of style, but retail experts say informed consumers are always ahead of the fashion curve. For now, it really is just buyer beware. And if the consumer doesn't push back on this, you can better believe that they'll continue doing this. Now, Senator Blumenthal, who in some cases the vast majority of clothes sold at outlets are manufactured specifically for those stores, wants the FTC to take action before the busy summer shopping season begins. He's also calling for monetary penalties for misleading consumers. Now, the FTC hasn't given the lawmakers a timeline for when it might take action, but the agency did recently post a blog on its website with advice for consumers who shop at those outlet stores. Back to you.